Hey everyone, Alpha Star DX here. Finally back after I, I've lost count, honestly. <laughs> but here I am, back with a trip down memory lane that some of you might recognize. And here with me is uh, what does this little card say? Which sharper than Fang? Which sharper than Fang? Am I getting that right? That's totally close enough. It was never meant to be said out loud. Um, <laughs> please don't ask me to explain it. It's embarrassing. Good enough. Wit Sharper Than Fang is my guest tonight. First time that... You can that... call me Wit for short, I guess. Okay, Wit's here for the first time tonight. And we actually just met a couple days ago and got to talking about this game that we're about to play and how we both grew up with it and... Here we go. Let's uh, let's do and not talk. Can we talk a little? Oh, we can talk. Absolutely. Okay. I'm saying uh, rather than explain. Excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was super excited for this. Oh, um, I was too. It, it turns out that uh, Alvastar and I had the same childhood mm -hmm. somehow. Um, and... I don't even remember exactly how it came up that he was into MS DOS games, and I said, "Yeah, the only DOS game I really remember is Busy Town." And even behind his sunglasses, you could just see his face light up completely. Um, was it that, that obvious? Oh yeah. I mean, everyone else was playing Pokemon Go, and you were the only person still around to talk to. Mm. Um, and we just, you know, compared which games we had played and it turns out they were all the same and we just kept coming back to busy town um as like this you know the edutainment game that <laughs> shaped our childhood and remembering <sighs> specific levels mm -hmm. and then he pulls out his smartphone um <laughs> and suddenly he's like listen to this and i listen as he plays a music track and it is the background music to the particular level that we had just spoken of and I thought, okay, this guy was not kidding about his love for DOS games, and he also just totally proved to me how completely legit he was about Busy Town. Yep. Um, and I am so excited to get a chance to see it again because I probably haven't seen this, you know, level select screen in nearly. What, 20, oh God, 20 maybe, plus years or so? I would say nearly 20 years. I probably like gave this like one last revisit when I was a little too old to enjoy it, just for my own personal nostalgia. But boy, has it been a long time, and boy, am I excited to revisit all these levels. <laughs> Me too. That having been said, let's not wait any longer. First uh, of yeah, all... I'm sorry, I keep talking. I'm oh, no, no, no. Saying. No, I love it. I love it. I have not been this excited about doing this show ever. So no, I absolutely, if you've got something to say, absolutely say it. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, let's see how this volume is. The music's a little quiet for me, but I don't know how that reflects for anybody else. Usually pretty, okay. usually pretty equal. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to raise it a little bit then while this music is playing. So this works out nice. Oh man. Go ahead. Say your spiel. How's this? It's. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I, I can I can hear your voice cracking. Are you gonna like cry or something? I don't think so. I'm a little hormonal right now, so I'm feeling like <laughs> very okay. like affectionate and sweet, which is usually not my thing. I'm usually a real grump. Yeah, um, you you I said as much too. <laughs> well, yeah, I almost definitely won't cry. Um, but I'm also something of a hypocrite, so I might. Um, I'll let, I'll definitely let you know. I will not keep that a secret. I think, um, for everybody's personal delight, I will let you know if <laughs> a DOS game from 1993 moves a 27 year old woman to tears. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, since that song came up in that, in that story to start out, why don't we just start there? Oh, please. This was always one of my favorites. Um, Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Well, they even put it in a shadow. 
Welcome to the future. Yeah, I kind of... Somebody here seems to be missing his voice. Yeah, I was just noticing that. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be responding. Yeah, uh... Hang on just a second. And it seems a little bit choppy too, so I might need to up the frame rate. But first of all, let's uh, see if we can get that missing voice back up. At the end of this, I'm going to want to read all of the credits. Not um, that I'm going to recognize a single name, but I'm just like really into all of this. You recommended me that um, YouTube channel, Lazy Game Reviews. Yes. And um, I've been binging um, the DOS ones especially. Uh-huh. You hear, um, you hear really that? Really you hear? I hope you're watching this, Clint. If you are, you are a hero. Does he do that? Um, not... I'm not sure if I if I get so lucky and he hears that, then then you will be the first one to know <laughs> you're covering your bases. I understand. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I really love his balance between like pure information and just being a very clever writer and presenter. Um, and it's gotten me really into paying attention to the details um, and um appreciating um like for example the, uh, me remarking on the shadow like i was just playing fallout 3 and i didn't give a shit about that mm -hmm. uh graphics wise but like here i am really impressed that they you know with with the capabilities that they had to work with um we're using so much um detail and artistry mm -hmm. um and i think watching those game reviews has really um made me pay attention to and appreciate that little stuff yep i've seen so, i've seen pretty I'm much excited. all of his videos up to this point so like like i've it's come to a point now where i can just like see that little stuff myself even on a game that he hasn't reviewed yet i don't think he's done this one i could be wrong about that but yes yeah, Although I was gonna say, like it's 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 really a, kind of a little nothing of a game. But then again, he reviewed. Um, shoot, what's the balloon one called? What's its full title? Um, not balloon fight. Um. Ah. Uh, uh, I can look it up if we really decide we need this information. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but let me. But that's a little nothing of a game, and he he made two videos on it. Mm -hmm. Although, admittedly, I think they were both under his quickie section because there's not a ton to, to say about the gameplay. Yeah, that's true. Um, but now, whereas, yeah, now I definitely want to know it later because that's going to bother me if I don't. Um, well, I happen to have smartphones at the ready because, as I said before mm -hmm. we started recording, we live in the future. Um, and living in the future is allowing us to appreciate the past. Uh, so let me... Yeah. I remember <clears throat> the um, last name of the publisher, uh, Solo, or the French way to. Um, oh, spell. William William Solo. Yeah. Yes. What was that game? I remember. Yes. I remember Ant no, Run. No, I remember that, Isle Wars. That that balloon thing. Solo. <sighs> balloon. Come on, Google. Don't fail it. Balloon challenge. That might be, challenge. yeah, that might be the one. Yeah, that's that is what um, the internet is coming up with. Balloon challenge. And that's like a little sort of puzzly logic game. Um, whereas this game has as many different types of gameplay as level selects, although some of them are are pretty. Yep. You know, little throwaway things. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. The one he did the port to Android on, too. Yeah. That's yes. One of videos. Yes. Um, now I remember the one. I could tell that he was also probably as moved by nostalgia for that as we are for this. I don't know. Maybe we can make a request on Twitter or something. I do not have a Twitter. Do you have uh, a Twitter? I do not. Oh, shoot. Well, there oh, goes well. That. <laughs> 
Well, I can't seem to get installation to cooperate. Yeah, I've noticed a, a long time here where nothing has happened. What can you yeah. do about it? Uh, well, I had a hard enough time finding this download, so well, we could do we one. Could do. I could try and hunt down another one. That sounds boring. Yeah. I tried to do the installation, but it requires the seven floppies, which I do not have. Jesus. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember that many. <laughs> I remember. No, I remember taking it six or seven floppies to install this thing. Wait, was it was it that or was that the was that the paint box Peter Pan? No, the paint box Peter Pan had seven. This had. No, this had four. R I regardless, I don't have I don't have them. I can't reinstall yeah, it that, that way. Yeah, that is the point of all of this. So what we could do um, is fill in his dialogue ourselves. I do know pretty much every line in the game. Oh, I was gonna suggest some hilarious improv, but Let's if do... you can actually say it for real, that's no. actually kind of very impressive. Mm, depends on the game, I guess. You know, let's go back into this. Let's have an encore of the main song. Is it sad that I play some of this on my trombone? I'm going to be honest with you, Andrew. That is a tiny bit sad. Uh, I'm also going to be honest with you that your Skype window is a little bit on top of the um, DOS box window. As far yeah, now it's gone. What Skype window? I don't see a Skype window. <laughs> Uh, although I did actually um, pixelate out my Skype picture just as a joke, but it, uh, that actually worked super well in this in this case. Yes. Whoops. We. So I, I, I feel very safe, actually. Oh, good. Um, do you want to try fix it again, or do you want to move to something else? And no, we're so... gonna we're gonna start on fix it. I'm just checking the uh, frame rate now, so it's not so choppy. Uh, 10,000 should do it. Yeah, this is much better. Oh, yeah, wow. Man, that octave jump, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot, that's not an octave. I have to... Hello, Mr. Six. Fuxit. Oh, come on. What is it? Ah. Then let's finish the machine. So, every time I played this level, I would really want chocolate milk. I want chocolate milk 24-7, so this really doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I was also kind of that kid. Um, and I'm a little bit that adult. Uh, I try not to keep milk in the house because I don't drink it enough before it goes bad, no matter what size mil milk I buy. Oh, um, I, I drink north of a gallon a day, so it's it's a thing. Of milk? It was a gallon and a half when I was in high school. Bro. Actually, that probably saved my life one marching band competition I had. So I was at Rowan University my senior year. This was like my third to last competition. I ended up tripping over a baritone who, for some stupid reason, was like super close to me. I was move. I was marching backwards, tripped over him, landed squarely on my neck, and this is all on DVD, mind you. They recorded this whole thing. Yeah. I kick myself back over my neck. My trombone is somehow not damaged. I wind up back in place. Next morning, my director gets an email from the judges saying that they did not know this happened until they saw the tape. Not wow. one judge saw this happen. So you think it is your calcium-enriched bones of steel that allowed you to do a back somersault over a trombone without snapping my again. without snapping my neck? Yes. Mind you, I am not a I am not a light person, and I was not light then either. But no, I I attribute my uh, my strength in bone to my milk that i guess is possible i mean uh, please tell me you drink skim yes 
Oh, thank God. I would be really bummed if I had just met, like, this really cool friend and he was going to die of a heart attack in the next three years. I'm not going to die of anything in the next three years. You got me for a long time. Excellent. Please click the shining star. It's actually driving me crazy. Yay! Hey, look, there's a shining star. What should I do with it? Um, I think you should maneuver your avatar of game playing over to it and click it. Or ignore it completely. My, my philosophy of video gaming has always been go the wrong way first um, because there's usually a treasure chest or something down there. Yep. Uh, uh, however, despite the fact that it's been nearly 20 years, I don't think this game has a ton of treasure chests. Uh, does it even have one? <laughs> uh, I bet we're going to find out tonight yep. if we're going to do a real comprehensive look at it. Absolutely. Oh, man. So, the wrong way first, right? Uh, actually, yeah, you, that should be shown in this because it is. Nailed yeah. it. Um, so even if you are a five-year-old and you click the wrong thing, um, the consequences are major enough to let you know that you shouldn't do that again. Yep. But minor enough to not discourage you so completely. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what he's demonstrating here is that those scoops are facing the wrong way and not scooping a diddly thing. Oh, that's... Wow, will he ever stop? Okay. Oh, that's wrong? Okay, hold on. Uh, let me, let me try something here. Milk has been added. Oh! Oh, his voice is back. Interesting. And Either also... You've learned the voice actor's cadence perfectly. No, I did not say that. I forgot that. So that overflowed because Come you in. held down the button too long? Wow, this game has a ton of nuance that I've totally forgotten about. Um, anyway, when I Just a sec, drinking, just a sec. Okay, I love, stop. love you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, parents needed to say something. I have not reached the point of my own place yet, and I'm working on it. That's all right. You okay? I'm good. I just had okay. to. I just had to. Uh, had to kind of signal that I'm kind of doing a show here. <laughs> okay. Um. So the milk overflowed because you held down the button too long. Yes. Wow. I did not remember this game having that much nuance. Yep. Um. Anyway, when I drink um, liquid in the mornings. I tend to prefer them warm. So perhaps we should find a way to heat up our milk. You want you want the milk hot? Um, yeah, especially because the weather's getting colder. That's, in the summer, I'll put ice in my tea. That's uh, true. After I've heard it, but I think I think now's the time. So you can adjust where you put that lever. Yep. Um, and it will allow you to move the heating element to the left or to the right. Um, the consequence for moving it in the wrong direction is you've ruined that lovely balloon. It's yellow. I don't like yellow. I didn't know that. I like red. And you have now over... Oh, so when I said do the wrong thing first, you're going to do all of the wrong things first, aren't you? Absolutely, because isn't it funnier that way? It's, I would actually say it's almost more academic that way. True. That you are showing everything that could happen okay i've pretty much done all i can as far as the wrong stuff here so oh i forgot that you could use two little gears or the big one couldn't you yep same with that reverse conveyor belt okay so here's the right I way thought to the reverse conveyor belt would just make it wrong well it does oh here's the uh, here's that again so i have the so i have the twisted belt on so now the mechanism runs backwards, and as you indicated before, it's not doing a diddly thing. <laughs> so um, what this demonstrates is, I guess, you can put multiple things in multiple places. Yep. So the big gear and small gears happen to do the same... Th oh, if you put the small gears... No, the big gear just oh, runs it backwards. No. There's, there's a whole thing in Gizmos and Gadgets that demonstrates this, but that's for another show. 
which I also would love to be a part of. Oh, absolutely. You got it. Because although I have way less knowledge about that game, that game was definitely more my brother's milieu. I have an older brother mm. um, who has a super logical and mechanical mind. Uh, he majored in mathematics and physics, whereas I majored in music. Mm. Um, and so that game was totally his jam. Um, and I played it a little, but I was a little young for it. And I think by the time it was more my speed, um, with gaming wise, I think we'd probably moved on to like the next step of computer gaming. Mm. And I have, I feel like we've lost it. Yeah. Or like maybe we lent it to a friend and never got it back, which is definitely the case with our favorite bass fishing game. We gave it to Joseph Kiley. Ah, oh, bass fishing. Um, he's a good guy, but um, he, did, we, he never did give us our particular fishing game back. Did you know bass rhymes with ass? Yeah. I, just, just thought I would mention that. Cool. Anyway, so let's do I this. Let's do this right. Gentle boil on our milk. <laughs> yep, gentle boil and the double gears turn it forward. So we'll wait until the indicator up there says hot milk, and now. We will move it to the other dotted line and oh, oh. whoops. Listen, you. <laughs> that, that, that whoops was sarcastic enough that nobody will believe you. That's that's kind of the point. And also, why are you sweeping a liquid with a broom? Um, I guess they just didn't have enough space on the floppies. You <laughs> like include a mop. Use a mop. Use a wet T-shirt. Use something. Okay, this time for real. Gentle boil on the milk. Double gears to lean it forward. Get hot milk on the indicator. And stop on the dotted line. And Add get your chocolate, chocolate powder. powder. Scoop, scoop, scoop. You now have hot chocolate. Bada bing, bada boom. We're thirsty. And uh, what straw do you have that can endure that temperature? always move like that? I guess we haven't seen him move up to this point. Well, no, he's been hopping on one leg, but I guess he was full enough that he had to he had to crawl back to his chopper. Hmm. He must be, like, very hard on his, like, pants and stuff if they're gonna rubber on the ground like that. Indeed. Let's just move on north. Let's build a house. I guess I don't remember this one as much. I remember it a little. I remember there are some bricks involved. Yes, that's actually the first thing we're going to do. And we have another friend. However, unlike there he the is. last one, he was, this guy was the protagonist of the cartoons. Huckle, yes. I guess the only voice clips missing are the ones in Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, everything else seems to be working just fine. So far. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is... Some child labor. <laughs> Let me see if I can still do this in one shot of the mouse. Nope. Ooh, this sound effect is bringing something back for me. Ooh, it's doing something for me. <clears throat> Listen, you. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We have our we have a big chimney and and we have shingles. That sounds painful. Yeah, that will soon, bro. Speaking of painful, keep an eye out, folks. That's right. About the halfway mark should be right there. Oh God, why is he? What is he doing in the mortar? Get out of there! You're gonna like that stuff is gonna set up, and you're gonna get stuck. Oops. Well, on the upside, you can't get eaten by burns if you're if you're stuck there. If, yeah, if you're well, you can the top half of you could, and then the bottom half will be the punchline to a joke about a half a worm in a bucket of cement. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think this game would go there. Uh, I have have a feeling we're going to go a lot of places that this game never intended. We're yeah. looking at it through a very different lens. 
than its uh, young audience would have had access to. Yes, I uh, and I was not wearing glasses back then, so. Oh. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> Is this gonna be like this? Maybe. All right, let's I, pick up this big heavy cylinder and pretend like we can actually float through a house with it. That's a really interesting point. No, it I mean, wasn't. It was. Well, no, it was. He just, I, I guess I'd. Now, here's something that should be really, really awkward to carry. And not to mention, last I checked, it was not as easy to install a giant pipe across two floors by just picking it up and dropping it. Well, I have, like, this is, like, the right way to do it. You know, they should have, all houses should be built side to side not bottom to top absolutely you should start with the north wall or whatever is most convenient and build laterally so you have access to all of the inner wall you know like inner wall pipes and electrical wiring this is also build it. sorry go on no like i think i'm genuinely on to something I'm yes really you are I, I, like i know that this is physically impossible and monumentally stupid but I also really <laughs> love this idea. Kind of looks like he's tap dancing. Pretty much. Also, this is a great illustration of how the fourth wall is just not there. That's my point. Uh, like, that's that's how it ought to go. Well, you know what we also, should do? We should build a house. This is not the... You, they don't install your appliances for you. No, you, they're you not. responsible. Yeah, you're. Washing machine. Yeah, no, you're you're up Shit's Creek on that one. Unless this is like a like a real full service contractor. You you're not going to see that in this day and age. Maybe in the early '90s, but they're not they're not that cool now. At the very least, the the same man who installs your plumbing is not the man who brings you your new washing machine. Hmm. Oh, we should probably be describing what each of these items does as we go. Oh. Like this big cylinder. What What is this? Oh, it's a hot water heater. What's it do? I will not dignify that with an answer. <laughs> Doesn't it wash clothes or something? No, the thing that is currently a star washes clothes. I'm, I'm really upset with you, I think. Why are you being serious? <laughs> um, because I feel like you need a straight man, which well, is ironic. <laughs> Because I am neither of those things, but I'm prepared to play a role. Fair enough. Now, uh, for the sake of the show, these these uh, these faucets here do they produce chocolate milk and hot chocolate? I, I think we'll have to test that. I don't know where the original pipes come from. It does let. Oh no! <laughs> hot shit and cold shit. Anyway. Oh, that's a really good point. They are missing something really important from that bathroom. Yes. <laughs> and we, we also don't know how competent the plumber was in doing the groundwork, so it's possible that he hooked those pipes up to the sewer system. Well, as I recall, we get to test everything after we finish building, so I guess we'll see. You want to talk about heavy. This thing would be heavy. Oh, yeah, no, this is impossible for... How, how old do we think Huckle is at the time of these stories? Uh, 57. Oh, doesn't he still live with his parents? Yes. Do you think that's for his parents' benefit at this point? Yes. Because like when my my mom like when my mom was in her late fifties, um, that was about the time that my grandma moved in with us. Hmm. So perhaps he he's he is now the caretaker role. Not most Shame likely. about his voice never really dropping that much. That must have been uh, difficult in a professional capacity. It's, it, you often find that people with higher voices. Don't get as much respect. Well, in order for your voice to drop, your balls have to drop. It's true. We, as far as I know, we have no canonical proof that um, he underwent that particular uh, puberty change. I mean, nor did Bart Simpson. Um. Yeah, they don't do a great job of establishing what time has or has not passed in that show. Although I can't say I'm an expert. That was never something that I watched. That's true thing about most cartoons i find is that the characters never age like the take for one example i can think of is um 
Full Metal Alchemist, or maybe it was only Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Anime nerds, if, get ready. I'm actually not that much of an anime nerd, so if they're getting ready, they should be ready to um, hate on me for my very limited knowledge. Um, but I remember a friend of mine showing me uh, some side by sides of frames from that from whichever show it was that they paid a little more attention to this. Um, that if you watched it all in order, you almost wouldn't have noticed. Um, but you can see in um, Al like a like a real genuine physical change in his um, the, the way they drew his face and also the, his musculature mm. from him starting out as as definitely like a young child and through the course of the end of the story you know having basically fought in a war um and like genuinely really growing up i can't really think of can you think of any other cartoons that really like made that choice uh offhand no i can't except for the uh rugrats episode where they imagine what it's like when they're adults oh you know what they had the spinoff too that's they had the spinoff where they were all teens. Right. I don't know if I count that. I'm, I'm counting within within one within run, the original one series. Show. Oh yeah. And and by that token, I don't think that that regrets thing was definitely a joke. Um, yeah. It's funny though. I still think it's funny that when uh, they imagine because their parents say sarcastically that all they do is push papers. That literally, when you go to work, there's an enormous piles of paper and everybody has brooms. Oh, wait a minute. So you're telling me that if we get caught and issued a speeding ticket, it's a ticket to an ice show? I'll speed, all, d I'll speed all day and night. It's a joke from something that I don't recognize. It was that very same episode. Angelica caught Tommy and Chucky speeding, and the ticket they were issued was to Reptar on ice. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, yeah. I guess I remember that. Also, as I, funny as it would be to make off with this television, it just takes you back to the map screen. You don't get caught by the cops or anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and I imagine that some of our audience today might not even recognize that as a television. I think <laughs> that's true. At the time. Actually, even in 93, that was a crazy way to portray a television. I mean, it gets the point across. It has a screen. I don't know, man. So let's test stuff. Oh, yeah, click on the washing machine. He totally, yeah. By the way, the hot water is not on yet. All in one washer dryer. Why don't you wash your pants in there, too? Yeah, it's true. And then we can uh, discuss whether or not you have uh, your primary sexual characteristics developed. <laughs> well... Actually, I was, <laughs> I was gonna go in the direction of uh, naked pussy. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, let's get some heat. And oh, Q is voice. That what the voice actor sounded like the whole time. No, I was no Q Q voice that sounds nothing like either of them. Yeah, I guess they had another guy. Hmm. Usually when there's ADR, they get the same person. Oh, there's flavor in that water? It must be straight sewage. Yeah, that's true. Do you ever... Whoa, do hey, you... Mr. Fuxit. He fucks the water heater. I feel like we could have figured that out. Hey, look. The thermometer is radioactive. Yeah, that actually is a little alarming. My hands are dirty. I can wash them. What have you been doing with those hands? Do you have a cursor? Uh, no, actually I don't. My mouse is manipulating him. Right, so how... You, like so get him over to the faucets how do you know where you're clicking um by where he's standing like his head pretty much and then okay so you had his head over there and then he moved out of the way to perform the animation of washing his hands yep okay 
Uh, so what's on TV? Probably nothing, if it's anything like today. And again... That's yet another voice actor. That makes four. Five if you count the pig. Uh, Mr. Fixit had points. Wow, they're really loosey-goosey about this. Just a little bit. Ooh. Do you know how to read? Because I kind of don't. I'm still reacting to this song. Give me a sec. <laughs> so, I didn't remember this until it got to the second line, and then suddenly I'm like, no, I've heard this before. Wow. My heart's racing right now, and I really have no explanation. It could be the gallery. <sighs> Is there a second page of this crap? Uh, yes, there is. Okay. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. Wait, stop. That's totally a hookah. Excuse me? Oh, pipe and bowl. Yeah, of course. What am I thinking? He called for he called for his saxophone, and he called for his goblet, and he called for his... Single fiddler. Yes. Yeah, there, this, this uh, illustration's not great. No. Oh, cool. Two choices. Got it. Yeah, that's all we got. Oh, crap. You've ruined everything. Anyway, there wasn't a ton left to do. No, just all, the, all we had to do was leave and the family would have showed up and... What a beautiful house and some other crap like that. I don't know. I don't remember the warehouse. Let's go to the warehouse. Oh, the delivery I truck. Think, yeah, I think I remember everything else. And you can drive a delivery truck. Ooh, that didn't rhyme. Nope. Oh, it's really not his pants that he has to worry about. It's his shirt. Yeah. What is that supposed to be? Apparently it's a kite. Oh. Alright, that's legit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so I as a youngster could not possibly have recognized that they were playing on the stereo Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> got it um, so that was sudden and intense uh, so again this is mouse steering yeah oh well that was not the most <laughs> Hold on, we need a we need a shot of his face. Hang on. Well, he's, he's not. He ain't happy. Is that more than one line reading of safe driving is very important? You know. No, it's just one. Okay, I thought I heard it differently a, a second time. So again, this is mouse steering. Yes. And this Which is, is keyboard you... steering. Oh. Yeah, you so don't get the same. It's way more reasonable. And Mouse was the way that you managed to instantly teleport from the police station to in the middle of their lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. And you turn it in by clicking or just being there? Just being there. So, of course, you wouldn't do that. No. Mm. Go get him. I know you want to. Oh. I believe I flatted the tires. For going over it too many times? Yep. So you can traverse the pothole once or twice, but if you keep going, then you are effed. Yep. All right, now you got it. He is, of course, agile enough to avoid the pothole. Um, so let's talk about the rabbit in the middle of the street. Sure. Well, oh. not here today. 
Um, what was his job? Uh, he was just doing a jackhammer thing or digging or something. Oh, oh no, the yeah. the rabbit was digging. Yeah, is this isn't this supposed to represent perhaps asphalt or cement? Yes. And he doesn't seem to be there in any official capacity. Hey, stop digging! Stop digging! Yeah, no, <laughs> He's got his hands up. <laughs> Ripping up the infrastructure that your tax dollars pay for. He's got his hands up. Yeah, we're performing a citizen's arrest. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do that, but I kind of really want to someday. It Ex seems like something I ought to do. Mm. Have you ever flown a kite? Oh, yeah. Um, I flew kites all the time in college. Mm. Um, I own seven of them. And five of the seven of them are currently unflyable. So you because did, they are tangled or broken. So did you do it at a beach or? I did it at a beach once. I would find open fields. Yeah, like I'm that. only because I'm not a beach person. I also didn't used to live anywhere near a beach. I'm from north of the state that we currently live in. Yes. Instead of the south part of the state that we currently live in. Yes. Um. And there was not as many um, opportunities to be at a beach. Um, so I would find like like ball fields or um, and mostly ball fields, to be honest. Campus quads, mm. although honestly in college we didn't have a ton of open spaces like that. Uh, so I did a fair amount of getting my kite stuck in places. Mm. Uh, and the time we did go to the beach, the wind was so much more intense than anything I had expected before that we dunked it in the ocean a couple of times hmm. and uh, got it pretty hopelessly tangled. Um, I tried to fly um, two-line kites. I was interested in the idea of stunt kites, but I never like really got it together enough. Although it turns out that um, the son of the director of the community band I play in is actually like a champion stunt kite flyer um, like genuinely competes and does very well at it mm -hmm. um, so if I ever actually wanted to get back into it I should talk to that guy but he actually just started going to college in Florida for marine biology mm. uh, and the band director doesn't like to talk about it because <laughs> the kite thing uh, his son learned from the director's now ex-wife Ah, uh, so yeah. He's pretty out of love with the idea of kites. Yes. Yeah, I would I would play in an open field before I'd play at a beach any day. Yeah, I as someone who has described themselves as a grump, uh, I really don't like fun. And one of the things that is fun that I don't like are beaches. Well, what are we doing here then? <laughs> this is fun. Uh, yeah, I think this we're going to go off the uh, hormonal nostalgia part. Yeah, fair enough. Next question. Do you like melons? Which we just dropped off at this store here. Like, um, literal melons or slang melons? Are you are you insinuating that I would talk about breasts at a time like this? Yeah, I think I am. I'm sorry if that is uh, not correct, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. <sighs> Already thinking the worst of me. Never mind that it's true, but still. That's true. The uh, people watching this did not. We're not privy to any of our pre-recording conversations in which we talked about how good you are at Cards Against Humanity. Yes. Yeah. You, you, even if it wasn't your original question. It's one of the breast jokes ever. Moving on. <laughs> I okay. might have to go. Oh come on. Oh, no, I'll stay. Um, All right. So we dropped a bike off at the. Tr no, a trike at the bike shop. A bike at the trike shop. Okay. That's a really niche store. A trike shop. Um, yes. As for literal melons, I'm going to answer your, both of your questions. As for literal melons, um, I'm not a huge fan of most of them. I'm fine with watermelon. Mm -hmm. The other melons, like cantaloupe, etc., I find a little bit slimy. Mm -hmm. um, and don't really do it for me. Uh, figurative slang term melons, I am a pretty big fan of as a lady who is interested in dating other ladies. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you sound so surprised. You know no, this. No, I, I did know this. I am, I'm trying to be sarcastic, and it's not working. 
voice. That's a tough thing to be. It's hard to be sarcastic about facts. And because of something else that you know about me, that's an extremely, extremely trained skill. Yeah. It, it's hard to feign surprise at things. Well, that and that and I grew up in a mental state that did not register that kind of humor. You do just fine now. I yes. mean, how you play cards against humanity. That's kind of what the whole thing is based on. Yes. Hmm. Oh, please don't kill those kids. <sighs> I, I can deal with a lot of things, but, like, that's a rough one, man. What do you bring to the music shop? I've forgotten. Uh, presumably musical instruments. Well, we gotta go find that. Yes, we do. Uh, as a former music major and someone who uh, does music for... Well, I can't say I do music for a living. I help other people do music for a living. And we both love music. Yet another thing we have in common. Like, yeah. this, has been a, this has been a theme, folks, ever since we first met. We have a lot of things in common. It's, it was almost alarming. If it wasn't, like, such innocent, like... Yeah, our childhood were really similar. Like, if it if it was anything more than that, I would have been, like, uh, <clears throat> kind of, like, a little creeped out. Like, I don't believe in fate or things happening for a reason or anything like that. It was just a ton of coincidences. So, like, if it were anything else, you might have had an issue? Um, I don't know. I think I, I'm trying to figure... It's, sometimes it's hard to imagine how you would react in a hypothetical situation. That's true. Um... I don't know if it had been a lot of others. Well, here's what here's what can be said. I think I personally like how this has turned out up to this point. Yeah, I think this has been good. Um, obviously, we decided even that we've only met for the first time under a week ago that we had enough in common and enough to worth talking about that we could present a, you know, a short show on an MS DOS game together. <laughs> Absolutely, um, this is like this is like best friend stuff right here. The makings of it. Yeah, I have called people jokingly my best friend for even less than this. Uh, I, w I jokingly called a girl that I met my best friend just because we both would tend to say, you ruined Christmas after something bad happening. Hmm. And we said, like, we should be best friends. She's like, yeah, okay. So we call ourselves best friends. She is not my actual best friend, uh, but she is a good friend. Okay. So considering how much more you and I have in common than she and I did, I think you may have to go higher than her on the slots there's a great deal of potential there definitely oh yeah man more One stuff we need to do more stuff yeah i will have to figure out not on a internet stream where it is you live to decide how better for us to spend time together absolutely that would be awesome um but for the time being we have I a game to really play like hanging out with people online uh, my high school friends have moved all over the country, mm. and the way that uh, we stay in touch is uh, things like Skype and Discord and yep. multiplayer games, or even single-player games with screen sharing. And I've gotten very social over the years. I I would rather do things with people rather than by myself, because see, a whole, wow. a whole childhood of doing things by myself and intentionally not being with people kind of soured it for me as an adult once I realized, hey, this might be just a little bit more fun to do with somebody else. So you know what? That's, what's, that's what made me so adamant over the years about wanting to hang with people. Like if I really, really, really want to hang out with you, I will tell it to you and I, I, will, I will try until I'm blue in the face to hang out with you. Well, I will do my best to uh, to respect that, and I will also do my best to be honest with you about the times when I say like, "Ooh, I legitimately can't." Um, oh yeah. Make the date. Well, no, if and it. Also, the times like, "Listen, bro, I just don't feel like hanging out right now." That's and a... try to be honest with you with the difference, because I know a lot of people will say like, "Oh, I can't do that day," and then not suggest a replacement day. Oh, listen, uh, like that's then... all I would ever ask. Just be straight with me about that. Like that's for anybody. I can do that. Let's go deliver this, this uh, fancy hat. I thought it was a cereal bowl. It actually looks kind of like a wheel of cheese, to be honest, on a plate. But it still has the, the wax rind that they put on certain cheeses. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you eat the wax That's rind? I 
don't, except for the ones where you're supposed to. Uh, and even then, I'm not super fond of it. Like, I'll eat it. Uh, my grocery store slices um, smoked Gouda, which is, like, the freaking best. Um, yeah, that's Gouda. And you are supposed to eat the outside of that, which I will do. Um, but, like, and I, I know you're allowed to eat the outside of brie, which is also a big favorite of mine. But I don't really like the texture of the outside of brie. So if I can avoid it, like if somebody has set out a plate of brie, um, I will try to take from the center and not from the, the the weird outside. But I know you're you're allowed to eat that part. It won't hurt you or nothing. Banana skins are apparently edible as well. Yeah, I, but it tastes like butt. I wouldn't advise it, but they're edible. They're super, super bitter and like almost chemically bitter. Hmm. Where does this go? If you take it to the hardware store, you can dismantle it for parts and sell it in an alley. They don't seem to want it. If you took it to electric supplies, you might be able to get a small motor for it and turn it into a motorized bike. Hey, puppy dog! You want a bike? Oh. Well, now we're going to jail. No, we're not. We gave him flowers and a loudspeaker. He's not taking us anywhere. Also, we're white. Ooh, we went there on national television. I'm pretty sure you're not syndicated. I think we're cool. Yeah, that's true. I mean, anywhere if, we anywhere we can say fuck at this time of night, probably we could probably get away with that. Yeah, this is the time of night where the um, talk show hosts are talking about. Um, oh, our talking about theater. Um, are talking about the current political situation, and the current political situation is. Boy, we're being bad to black people. The current political situation is we're fucked. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I could have sworn we just put that in a house somewhere. Well, they needed to get a new one to sell to the next person. Hey, ah, there we go. I know where that could go. This will go on forever, won't it? No, it does have an end. Oh. This goes to the drugstore. I didn't, didn't even see that down there. Music is a drug. Oh, that's not our fault. We had no other choice. We I feel like we're being unfairly penalized. We probably took what it too. What were we supposed to do? We probably took it too quick. I did my uh, I did my little I did my little flashbang trick with the mouse. Of what makes it look like teleportation? Yep. Considering how many frame cycles, I guess. Is that what that means? Yeah. This is supposed to be running at? You literally don't pass through the space. Yep. Oh, that looks so good. I could go for a cake. This one is the truth. I, um... This cake is not a lie. Fire hydrant! Oh, oh my. Oh my god. I am very distressed by the implication of that. Oh, okay. I actually have a lot of problems with this. And I guess the problems are, I actually have two problems, but the fact that I have more than one problem kind of feels like a lot. Yes, please explain. Is, <laughs> the, I also have a lot of problems with the idea of a box of pills, but that's, that's like not, a, that's not even a thing compared to drugs, whatever. It's a way to convey it to little kids that this is a thing that should go to drug. whatever. My problem with the frog is that it appeared from inside the fire hydrant. Yeah. Um, fire hydrants ought to be, as far as I know, I, of course I'm not an expert, so, you know, leave lots of angry comments if you can prove all of this wrong, um, <laughs> ought to be um, a closed system. Ooh. Well, those kids are going to get in trouble for not coming back in time from recess or whatever. Oops. Um, uh, and so a frog really shouldn't be inside a fire hydrant is the, right. the long and short of it. Uh, especially with the, uh, the water pressure that um, is kept inside a fire hydrant. Like, that is not good for the frog. And it's also bad for the fro um, bad for the anybody who gets 
water from that pipeline, although I suppose they don't use potable water. True enough. Fire. It seems like a huge waste. No, um, we have a can of problem. we have a can of shit, by the way. Yeah, what is what was that described as? Uh, chocolate fudge. It's liquid shit. Yeah, that's it. That is the wrong color for chocolate, actually. Um, and then, unfortunately, a more believable color for fecal matter. <laughs> so here's my second and probably bigger problem with frog. Um, yes. Obviously, a frog doesn't belong in a in a fire hydrant. That was that's that was unintentional. Yeah, the, the mouse controls are actually super tricky. Yes. Especially that little that little juke in the road. Um, my much bigger problem with the frog is this: is it introduces um, something that you are then forced to think about for the rest of the game, and that is anthropomorphic animals versus animal promorphic animals. Mm -hmm. um, that frog did not appear to be sentient the way that all of the other animals in the game are. And by introducing the idea that such a frog exists, that there are non-sentient animals, it really highlights um, how complex a world of sentient animals could be. Um, this, of course, was much uh, the complexities of an animal-based society addressed in the hit film Zootopia, which I haven't seen, <laughs> but I'm told it's, it's really great and handles all this rel relative sensitivity and a, a pretty okay race allegory. Yes. Um, but you have to ask yourselves, what do the predator animals do? They, the they eat lower animals. A cat. Um... And the police officer is a dog, and the guy who runs the ice cream store is, I think, a leopard or jaguar, which I actually come to think that I think are the same animal. Well, we're about to find um, out in just a second. He, he's just a bigger pussy than Huckle. I was wondering, uh, uh, I can't even... This joke there, but I'm, <laughs> it's becoming my bedtime, and I can't quite get it. Aye, um, aye. What time is it? Oh, my. Wow. Okay. We've we've been doing more talking than playing here. Yeah. I can't um, say I'm complaining. Let me put that out there. This this will probably be your longest show. Yes. Uh, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna try and take this as quick as possible as we continue talking. Um. My so. Also, the frog was wearing red polka dot underwear. Wait, what? Here, I'll. Firehide frog. Yeah. Here, let me show you. Here, let me show you. It just had little feet. You want to tell me that's not striped underwear right there? Yeah, you're right. Look at that. He is wearing a swimsuit. Okay. This eliminates the second problem, but creates kind of a third problem. I'm going to make off with the police radio. I think we've done about all we can here. That's probably a good idea. I thought you said this had an end. It does, but there's only like it's all it's all just more stuff from the same stores. Oh, so it just starts to repeat. Yeah, and then the same thing. We just go back here and leave. Okay. And um, since it is getting a bit late, we do have we do need a finished demonstration at least. Yeah. Do you you want to make sure we go through all of them? Yeah. Okay. We can definitely keep talking. I mean, the games will pretty much speak for themselves at this point. This what the what the hell is with the not the best? Do you do you see what I see? I see flashing helicopter above the other helicopter. Yeah, but I. That's the family that we made the house for. Oh, I like the hood ornament. So you can tell that this game, if taking place in America takes place in either New Jersey or I believe Oregon hmm. is the other state with uh, gas station attendance. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, gee. Well, he thanked us anyway. Yeah, uh, his car seems to... I don't know, it sounded like a nuclear appliance like a microwave 
So I remember uh, being just a tyke and having to ask my parents what... Um, I don't know if I could read, come to think of it. Because I couldn't figure out what word they were saying. Mm. It almost sounded something like lettuce to me. I heard lettuce too. Yeah. Um, some of the, the voices when the uh, animals are requesting different types of gasoline um, are not super clear. Also, you know, MS-DOS versions of sound. Mm. Um, hey, open wide. Oh, gee, that's how you die. <laughs> but yeah, that really does line up perfectly with his mouth, doesn't it? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good way to kill somebody. Pump six gallons of gas into somebody's stomach through their mouth. I'm pretty sure that's a fetish. Um, I remember having to ask my parents what they were talking about with the the lettuce. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit your asses down. Sit down before you blow a tire. But they didn't come here with a flat tire. No, they didn't. Do you then give them gas? No. Kids are dumb. <sighs> well, only one thing to do. Oh, wow, that little um, animation it did of um, scooting past him and then stopping on its tether. Hmm. That was that's very clever. Get off the hood of your car. That's really dangerous. That's also probably still very hot. Probably. Hey. Half of me wants to just leave right now. <laughs> Let the There's engine. There's kids in that car. Uh, fine. Well, this is actually making me one. I can't remember if I have a fire extinguisher in my car, and I feel like I really ought to. Not that, like, I have a like a nice, like, completely functional car. I mean, I understand why you have a fire extinguisher, but bad things do happen. I, yeah. I like I have a little emergency kit with like jumper cables and a flashlight or whatever. Uh, but oh, you know, that was not my fault. When... No, no, he should do it. That's not my. Uh, Above my pit. He better tip us. Yeah. Actually, we just made off with the luggage. Yeah, it's true. It has disappeared. I don't think we'll be working in this town ever again, but hopefully they had some good stuff in there. Probably not. I remember having trouble with the banana maze. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this guy. You do a really good impression of him. Let's see just how close I land to this. <clears throat> you want to do it first and then have the real one to compare? Dr. Diane, I got a problem with my... That's not bad. Oh, man. It's, um... I can't remember exactly how I felt about this. I can't remember if I found it super funny I found it disturbing especially yeah, at, especially I, on the last one Yeah, I did eventually sort I think it it went past humor to me and I also found it kind of like distressing. Um Yeah, the thought of having medicine shoved in your mouth that's just too close to home. And no, yeah, for me, the distressing part was how he was like completely helpless at the end, I think. Yeah, the the last one, the last bandage is always the same. And doesn't she have to move <clears> around <throat> in like a or something? On his what? We should do this whole thing. Yeah, we are going to do the whole thing because okay. that needs to be seen. Also, how does a like bandage on the stomach do anything? I think that one was definitely for humor. I feel like this actually might be funnier to a grown-up than it would be to a kid. Yes. With the fear of doctors. Yes. Did you have a fear of doctors? I certainly didn't like shots or anything. Mm. Um, when I was playing this, you know, that was probably my main worry is like vaccinations or things like that. 
Well, um, take a look in that cabinet to the right, and there may be a point where you should cover your eyes then. No, no, I'm totally cool with needles now. Um, okay. When I was nine, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness, um, and I got super good at doctors. Um, and now we'll shove a tongue depressor down his throat. Not all the way. Here's how good I am at doctors. I can do that test where they look in your mouth and down your throat, and I don't have to say, ah. Hmm. Because I know what they're looking for is for you to lift your soft palate to be able to get a, a clear view, and I can just do that without having to use the vocalization to help. That's how good I am at doctors. I'm real good at doctors. You're proud of yourself, aren't you? I am. I have to have gotten something out of 16 years of chronic illness. True. What exactly was it, if uh, you can say? I have had Crohn's disease. Oh, dear. Yeah, it was a real bummer for a while. I bet. I'm uh, actually really super good now. Well, that's good. I'm glad. But I, I, got, I got good at it. Mm. That's awfully specific. That actually might help. Like, maybe he's got a blister and he needs to cover it up and keep it clean so the skin can heal. That's true. This, I believe, is that point. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, so if you're sensitive to needles, look away. Now. Okay, look now. He took, he took it super well. Well, yeah, he has... You get a band-aid anytime you get an injection. Well, yeah, he has no moving animations. His ears twitched. Well, he can't get up. This was also the first time I ever heard the word owie to ref refer to an injury. It was just not something we ever said in my family. Yeah, me either. And which finger are we talking about here? Uh, I don't know. Well, how, it, whichever... Oh. Yeah, whichever one the bandage applies itself to. I don't think we had a choice. True. Now, here's what we have to ask ourselves. Yes. Does that in some way count as a middle finger? Maybe not the middle finger, but a middle finger. Because it is between the thumb and other fingers. Mm, no, I true. Not. If you can, you, like, that definition wouldn't work on someone with four fingers. No. This, this bandage seems like such a waste. Ugh. I did always think it was a little redundant to the stomach bandage. Yeah. This lady's a shitty doctor. Even I could do better. Yes. There is a there is a game that there is a game that's all about being a doctor that I've streamed before and probably should again. It has all, it has everything to do with surgery. Oh, is it surgeon simulator? Uh, life and death. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, that one's from 1988. Focus on the original game was appendicitis and aortic aneurysm. The sequel dealt with the brain, which did subdural hematoma, tumor, and uh, brain aneurysm. The brain aneurysm is fun because if you really screw it up, you can blind the patient. Yeah, I bet. All you have to do the is... Brain aneurysms probably aren't that common, huh? No, they're That's not. That's a super violent thing to happen to a person. Oh, absolutely. You have to be in real bad shape for that to yep. occur. Oh, just cut it off. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think at this point, I would admit him to the hospital. You think? Because, um, and perhaps have him tested for a nervous system disorder, perhaps like fibromyalgia. Or hypochondria. I suppose that's also possible. Or is it hypochondriasis? I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard it said like that. Okay, so probably hypochondria. Yeah. Are we about done here? Yep. Yep. This is it. This is the part that disturbed me as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> How is he going to complain? There's a chance that if there really was nothing wrong with him, she should have started with that. 
Um, but yeah, I think I, I didn't like that as a kid. I was yeah. a very empathetic little kid. Yeah, me too. And then I grew what? up and that kind of disappeared. I never understood the lyrics to this. But this one made me hungry as a kid. And probably yeah, still I will. I sometimes get hungry. What's your favorite food? Um, I just sort of like food. I don't, I'm yeah, not me like, too. I'm very unpicky at this point in my life. I've started to um, eat a lot more vegetables and stuff like that. So I really couldn't even say, I'm just so enthusiastic about all food. Mm. Um, I'll certainly have cravings for stuff. But there's nothing I can go to that I say, like, this is my absolute favorite. I know most people's answer is, like, pizza or something. Yeah. And I like pizza just fine, but I didn't say I'd like it more or less than a lot of other things. Why? What's yours? I don't have one. I like, I just like simple stuff. Like, are there any things, like, you can't stand that are really popular? Can't stand that are really popular. Sushi. Well, that's fair. Yeah, not big on sushi. Uh, not big on... Honestly, not big on what some people might call fancy food. Like, I'm not big on caviar. I'm not big on... Uh, I'm not big on, like, fancily prepared meats or anything. I like my simple stuff. Yeah, it, caviar. I don't know if I've ever had caviar as caviar. I have had fish eggs as a thing on sushi. Yeah. And that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, no, I give me give me pizza, give me burgers. I'm happy on stuff in those in that general category. Mm. Yeah, right, I have. Let's get this lady some ice cream. Okay. Let's roll. I don't have a good pun to match you. I'm sorry. I'm not at my best. That's okay. Hey, I think one of those is a giant lump of shit. Are you going to make that about all things that are supposed to be chocolate? Well, uh, you tell me by the color. That's actually more accurate for chocolate ice cream, I think, than straight chocolate fudge because of the milk content. Hmm. Chocolate fudge is not supposed to be diluted at all. Do you drink? Alcohol? No. Me either. For... Liquid in general? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> No, Listen, me not if drinking. If you to make the let's on the roll joke, I'm allowed to uh, pre pretend to misunderstand your question about alcohol. Absolutely. No, me not drinking is a personal choice. My grandmother was uh, was alcoholic, and I I'm happy enough with my milk and my Mountain Dew. Yeah, I also have alcoholism on uh, both sides of my family, and I know I have an addictive personality. Let's not tempt uh, it. Precisely. And because I used to be so sick, I used to be on a ton of medications, and several of them interacted really poorly with alcohol, so that's why I never started. I've when lost, I, I've lost I, count of our similarities at this point. Yes. It still isn't freaking me out, because at this point I already know, like, you're, you're cool or whatever, and you're probably not, like, single white femaleing me. No. Um, well, well, clue number one for me, you're, you're not straight. <laughs> so, I mean... Yeah. Would that and not also, be a gigantic waste of time? Yeah, and for a single white female, the plot of that movie, which I haven't seen, but I know enough about it, yes. is um, the girl like trying to take over the other girl's life. I, I have a feeling that um, you wouldn't be super successful at trying to do that. Nor would I. You're, like, don't get me wrong. From all of the other details, you're actually kind of well on your way, uh, except for the, the main ones that... Uh, are much harder to uh, to uh, imitate. Eh. Now that is the worst looking salad I've ever seen. Yes, it looked like a lump. Honestly, I may take me or leave me. That's pretty much it. Although I will say, I don't think I have met anybody up to this point this similar to me. It's it's equal parts weird and amazing. Yeah, you know, I think that's how I feel, too. Well, you said people in your... One of one or both of your parents were in into computers or in a computer profession when you were young? My dad, yes. He's the reason, yes. he's the reason I was brought up on DOS games. 
Yeah, so it's probably the same. My mom was a computer programmer, and so we were relatively early adopters of having a home computer. We had a Mac something or another when I was very small. Um, and the only game I knew of on that was, uh, it was too hard for me because I was so little. Um, but you were like a silhouette of a guy and you had to maneuver around a building and like, I guess people were chasing you or something. These memories were super fuzzy. I said, I was quite um, weird. it's not Harry the Handsome Executive. I wouldn't be able to tell. The picture, the graphics were not good enough for me to tell if the man was attractive or not, but the name does not ring a bell. Well, now I'm gonna have to now I'm gonna have to track that down, because uh, I'm curious I, if I know it. I might recognize it if I saw a screenshot, but I have almost no details. I may ask my brother. Zach was older, and he has a memory like a steel trap for weird stuff like that. Right. Um. That would be the kind of thing he would remember. I once asked him, um, if there was anything he had forgotten, uh, which is kind of a difficult question asking someone if they can remember what they've forgotten. <laughs> um, and he thought about it for a moment. He's a very earnest and honest, genuine guy. Mm -hmm. He thought about it for a moment, and he said um, that he had forgotten how to calculate the mean of the log normal. Oh, I, I don't remember how to do that either. Yeah, well, what he knew, he and I both knew, that at no point in my life had <sighs> I ever or would I ever... Yeah, that mm. doesn't really okay right about now. Um, I would never have or have any reason to have learned what the hell the mean of the log normal was. Um, I also didn't know what a log normal was. I just barely knew what a log was. Uh, and I didn't, I had no idea that there would be a way to have a mean of such a thing. Mm -hmm. Um. And to the best of my knowledge, he never relearned or remembered the mean of the log normal. But that just made him mm. and I equal. Mm -hmm. um, so after this customer, I think we've gotten the, the gist of it. It's gotten... We've gotten the gist unquote, of it now. Quote, unquote, harder because there's two different... Um, Were you in the back room this whole time, jerk? Yeah, it's taken an epic dump. <laughs> I guess. No better. Yes. Wait, bear's shit? Yeah, well, yeah, no, he had to go all the way out into the woods. That's why it took so long. That's true. Okay, that was a funnier joke than that, and I think you should have at least giggled. Yeah, I should have. But I've, I've, I've been on that level for so long. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this was always a, a fascinating... Well, fascinating is the wrong word for it, but a uh, intriguing level because you could try to kill a person... Yeah, and the cops won't come after us. And he's having a conniption every time he describes an item up there. Yeah, he uh, he went back to the slightly southern-sounding voice actor. Or, I, or the voice actor attempting to do a slightly southern. So exaggerated, though. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of tell that it's not genuine. The red flashing light gets everyone's attention. Yeah, those things should not come off the truck. No, they shouldn't. I feel like that is in installed. Now explain to me this sequence of events, please. You you put together the fire truck. Yeah, it's Ikea. And then you sleep? Well, he, he could have been on call last night. True. Although, I think you're still allowed to sleep if you're on call. It just means that you're the one who gets woken up. So you s silence the alarm, I guess. Well, first you panic a little. Because you're the only one at the firehouse today. I was doing some weird sound stuff for a second there. And then you put on your fire stuff, which is not the way they do that anymore. Modern firefighting, fighting, modern firefighting equipment doesn't usually have tassels. No. I'd forgotten that particular detail. I could probably have my brother dissect this entire minigame. He's actually a uh, lieutenant at one of our departments down here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sure this would be almost nearly offensive in its um, inaccuracy. 
Oh, that's right. Now you can just like fuck whatever you want because yep. part of civil service. Fuck that guy. Fuck those people. Get that pooch. Got him. I'm pretty sure firefighters would be uh, really looked at at this point. Yeah, you may get a talking to, but then again, you're still white. Wait, who the fuck is that guy? Where'd he come from? So here's the part where you can attempt murder. When you click anywhere on the screen, you're supposed to be under the window, but when you click anywhere on the screen, you shout to the person on the window to jump. And they will always listen to you, no matter where you are. If you are not under the window, they spontaneously throw a parachute. Just as the father did on his way down. Right, because he, he started with that. So everyone has been evacuated. Um, you connect the hose to the hydrant and hope you don't suck up any frogs. And however high your ladder is, changes the angle of your water. So what you are doing is um, some form of protest quelling on that family. <laughs> There's another joke here. Yeah, they're very white for you to be doing this to them. I don't think... Um, <laughs> well, well, yes, but the joke has nothing to do with... Um, oh, the white pussy joke again, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Actually, it occurs to us, it occurs to me now that uh, perhaps our um, laissez attitude about this fire is insulting to our uh, comrades in California, and I feel bad about that now. Uh, a lot of people are in a lot of trouble out there. And, I'm uh, trying to get off the truck, it's not letting me. You might actually have to do your job, though. <sighs> that makes me sad. Um, anyway, uh, if anybody who sees the stream has any extra money lying around, even if it's just five bucks, uh, go to somewhere like directrelief.org, um, or somewhere else that you can find on the website charitynavigator.org to find places that, um, use your money responsibly. Um, every little bit will help, even if it's just to buy somebody a pair of socks. Absolutely. No longer have socks. Uh, anywhere in the world, although uh, with a uh, charity like Direct Relief, you can specify if you'd like your money to be used for problems in the United States, or it can be used anywhere. Anyway, now that that's super depressing, I remember having a hard time with this. Yes, the key here is to not get in the way of anybody who's got a camera. Yeah, I don't remember why that is. Because every time you get a... I'm going to read it. Right. So why is that bad? Uh, so if a tourist gets a picture of you, they get a reward from your banana box. Suffer 10 pictures and you lose. Yeah. So what the heck? Do, in, within the uh, conceit of the world here, how does that make any sense? Um, because the moon is made of cheese. Got it. So if they get a picture of you, it's just completely arbitrary. <laughs> right. I, so it, it's, it's supposed to act somewhat like a maze and teach you problem-solving skills of not taking the direct route to a place. Right. Uh, of course, with the philosophy as always, goes, always go the wrong way first, there's a chance we may lose this whole shebang uh, because there's a lot of wrong ways to go. A chance. And Andrew is contrarian enough to go all of them. A chance. I'm doing this intentionally. Precise. See, and I learned that about him in five days. Yep. So we actually. So, again, do you have any idea why taking a picture of a man in a park leads to the picture taker being given something? 
No idea. But that's going to get long and boring fast, so... Yeah, it's a counting game, and counting games are boring. Uh, the other thing that's long and boring... Well, it's not even that long and boring. Um, the two games that don't really have a, um, a goal, the Seesaw game and the Wind game, they're almost more like um, software toys. Right. Whoops. Yeah, that's stealth, because nobody has a camera that looks anything like that for the past you know, 30 right. years. Well, now that and I know... That yeah, that... That camera was outdated when the game was made. Mm. Actually, so are basically all of the cameras on display here, come to think of it. Yes. I mean, that one's got a handheld, like, chemical flash bulb. Oh, and now you have to get out? Yep. But the pictures are no longer yeah, a they... threat to you. No, they are a threat. I just dodged them all. Oh. Also, the gorilla's voice clips were not present. I heard one of them in the beginning. So the wind is kind of just a software toy. It's fun, though. Uh, your cursor is that little tornado in the middle. And you can interrupt your stuff. We're going to do mean things. A lot of mean Most things. Most of it is very gentle mayhem. Um, the interacting, is you mouse over it or do you have to click? I uh, just hover over it. Yeah, if you do it long enough, you steal that kid's kite like a real dick. I would love to know how many different people lended their... And this is going to be an enormous quote, but voice talents. <laughs> <laughs> True. And, uh, like, how many actual individuals did it, and how many of them just did a couple voices that they thought they, like, had in their back pocket as another big set of quotes, voice actors. Because uh, this one is just a person making a weird, a weird voice by doing something with the back of their throat. My head! I can't even... Um, my heart. Yeah, they're, they're doing something. I don't know how many more words that person could say in that voice. Mm. Uh, in general, I've come to find that wind doesn't actually bug birds all that much. They're, like, pretty used to expecting that. They just hang on to the branch tighter. Yes. Oh, and you can ruin everybody's day. You want to do that? Yes. This was a neat effect, though. I liked that. I always thought that was cool, of them putting it in um, grayscale. Oh, this guy. Uh, the wind is yeah. blowing the wave into my boat. That sounds like a thing that our friend Josh would say. Yeah. Oh, you know why I think that? It's because Josh really likes quoting Shrek. That's true. I can turn this boat into a plane. Oh, man. I've forgotten about that. So what do we think the weird barrel is? We'll actually see that when we sink the Titanic. So overdone. I love it. So that guy might die. <laughs> oh, you, you're actually like killing a man he's stuck he's not moving yeah it's really not <laughs> <laughs> the deepest secret of this game that if you do it exactly right the fact that I'm could... just the fact that I'm just pure evil He was a good. He did not sink. I'll give him that. No. We oh, can we can do other he mean lives things in here. A barrel. Yep. Oh, you're goosing the goose. <laughs> and and it sounds like she likes it. Uh, yeah, she's nasty. 
I mean, would you appreciate being goosed by a by a blowing force? Be nasty. No, I really don't think I would. Get out of here. Get, get the... I'm still having a lot of trouble with the man living in a barrel and how he managed to install a sealed window on it. Hmm. That's your home, huh? Well, it means he had access to, like, some rather sophisticated cutting tools. <laughs> <laughs> International terrorism. Oh, no. Don't worry, it can't go any yeah. lower than that. Someone on that plane probably threw up from the turbulence. Oh. For a second, I thought the sailboat was coming back. The sailboat never comes back, does it? Nope. If you go to the beach and then get come out back of here, the Goose. Ocean, then does the sailboat come back? I don't believe so. Okay. Object. Oh, purpose. I remember this. I don't. <laughs> That's an awesome design for a hot air balloon, though. That's super clever. Sure is. Bye. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> uh, there's something oh. wrong. There's something wrong with me. Yeah, you just killed two people. Let's tickle the goose again. So yeah, so there's no real, there's no there's no end point to this. You can just continue messing around with. Yeah, but there's only so much. On offer. There's only so much messing to do here. And the the seesaw as well is really just um math. It's a county thing. Hey, where are all those bandages? You weren't, you, weren't you hurt? It really did work. I guess so. When did Lowly become king shit of the playground? I think he's the only one that is... Um, portrayed as like an adult. True. I think it's the cat. So what he is is kind of a creepy single guy playing with a bunch of kids. In fact, he's on top of them. <clears throat> dark, but dark. Again, I think the gorilla is also portrayed as an adult. Dark, 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 dark. And also the pig up on the right is wearing a suit. Uh, so anyway, the numbers portray how much, I guess, weight each of these characters are. Yep. Um, and you can put them back in their spots by clicking on the empty circles. And the little grasshopper duders are, um, are calculating. There's really not the much to calculate. It's just, it's just weight and fatness and... It's addition. But for someone who I believe I couldn't read at the time, that was helpful. True. This is also one of my favorites. I really liked painting. Well, this is then this is a good way to finish the demo. This is the last uh, last thing. I always like this one, and then I'm gonna go to bed. As am I. This has been yeah, fun you've though. Yeah, had a crazy rough week. Yes. My week has been super normal. I just sleep all the time. I am a champion sleeper. Yes, so you've said. I would I'm be kind of ordinarily, but do you have the so ability is... to do you have the ability to just sleep through absolutely anything? No, I don't. I can be woken. Um, I did for a, a while have an ability to sleep kind of anywhere. I couldn't like sleep standing up or anything. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> but if I sorry, yeah. None of this. Okay. None of this yawning stuff. Come on. <clears throat> such a small engine for such a big boat. I know. I how are two... Okay. Yeah, but how are two now of these... Okay. Little... Yes. Um, how do you... For all you know, there are turds in these suitcases. I mean, I guess. But, like, there also could be, like, I don't know, and th pineapples. Why turds? Why have you picked that? Because it's funny. You're very, very scatologically inclined. Also, there's piss in this tank. Yeah, alright. I get it. <laughs> um, whatever. 
And I suppose there's like semen in the mailbags or whatever. Um, well, they are giant sacks. Shit, that was not supposed to actually work. Oops. <laughs> I was saying, oh, if you lie me down, I don't know if I can still do it. But I certainly could. <laughs> if you lie me down, I can fall anywhere. If you lie me down. <laughs> All right, so those are hard words, and it's, it's bad time. I was always, I was always never quite sure about the lie lay dichotomy I, no I'm no it's it's not that it's yeah yeah it's a sex thing i get it kill your <laughs> jazz man um the point is uh in 20 i guess 2009 maybe 2008 there was a really really big rally of um for uh gay and lesbian rights uh-huh. gay lesbian bisexual transgender rights in washington dc yeah and my college is um, gay and straight alliance uh, organized a bus trip down to D.C. to march in that. So we did. Um, but it was an early morning, and it was a long walk, what with all the marching and stuff. And by the time we got to... Oh, no. This <laughs> um, Excuse me. The um, end of the route, and there was a bunch of speeches and stuff, I, I was, you know, ready for a nap. So I set my backpack down on the grass where we were sitting, listening to speeches. And I maybe even had some pieces of napkin to use as earplugs or something. And I took you, a nap surrounded by about 100,000 people. You fell asleep uh, during a speech. I fell asleep during several speeches. Mm. Lady Gaga was there, and her she did some yelling, and that was pretty loud. Mm. Um, it was good. It was a good march. Uh, I don't think it directly did anything, but it certainly felt good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go to sleep in the lifeboat. Jerk. Oh, this is us uh, putting our crew members on the boat. So we have them parachuting out. Ah! Oh, yeah, that sound always bugged me. This guy's job. Anchors of A, Captain. He's the anchor man. We don't need it. We're obviously still in, in port, I guess. <laughs> man, I forgot about that choice. The rudder moves when I turn the wheel. Her job is to sleep? The crew loves my cooking. The crew likes my cooking. Food. Food. Thank you, Lieutenant Ahura. It sounds like he's coughing. That was a lady mouse. Engine set. Ready to sail. They're all from different places in Britain except for the dumb guy. Oh, and the <laughs> um, anchor guy is Swedish or Dutch or something. So then... It's our job to do something that really ought to have been done before. Mm. What do you like? Uh, I guess I'm feeling blue. It's the uniforms. You're feeling blue? Well, now we can't have sadness on this on this stream. I also... Um, kind of liked it red. You're never allowed to leave it red. Yeah, bad omen, supposedly. I'd never heard that. Or something. Some, no, you know what? The red sky. Yeah, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Um, Why are you dropping the anchor now? Yeah. any talent with for electronic music I would isolate that sound and turn it into the hot dance tune of the autumn yeah there's Since some I total missed the summer but there's a there's a sick beat in there somewhere there's some dubstep and that's everything this was the game that Andrew and I wrote uh, sorry what are your name now star alpha 
uh, Alpha Star, but not that it matters, okay. honestly, because because it's been heard here before. Cool. I'm sorry. Don't that, worry. That totally slipped my mind. Don't worry about it. Um, so, your child has practiced the following important educational concepts. Oops. Let's go back one. There we go. I wouldn't necessarily... Uh, I, a lot of those things, uh, um, I, well, uh, <laughs> they're, they're right about a lot of things. Curiosity uh, just, and making choices. <laughs> cause well, and no. How is cause and effect math? That's a tough one. Um, I might put that under problem solving. Yes. Hmm. Self-control. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they watched you play that at all. No, I had no self-control, period. What new words did... Unleaded. I, that's actually oh. completely true, as I learned the word unleaded. Ah, yes, yeah, true. But no, back up. How they got away with calling uh, building a house something to do with art and music for following the beat. There yeah, nothing... no, that there was nothing there. Even if you squint. <sighs> Spatial relations. Well, you know the the one street where the um, garbage can is like a little bit on the road. Yes. I think that's what they're talking about. If you like kind of swerving around it. Wait, you mean you you mean to tell me we weren't supposed to drive so close to the dog with the jackhammer? Uh, so close that you hit him three or four times over the course of the game? Probably not that close. Mm. Helpfulness, community roles, cooperation. And it would have taught you that if you weren't beyond help. <laughs> hey, this would but not be a very interesting stream if I was if I wasn't beyond that's help. That's true. It, it, that would have been boring as dicks. Yes. Multiple strategies. Yeah. Self direction. That's that's so deep. Self direction. I still haven't. Oh man, that what it was really called this whole time? Captain Salty, yeah. Yikes. Salty, yeah, I just, Salty. Yeah, I want I, I want to know the rest of his name. Yeah. Salty. Just, yeah. What's his first name? Salty, uh, comma, nuts. Well, then his name would be Nuts Salty. Well, Salty would have to be the first name for anything to be funny, really. Yeah, and that's not how that title usually works. No. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to write them a letter and demand that they patch the game to remove that line about art and music, because they didn't at all. Sure. Let's see if we or can get any contact names that are still good after 24 years. Well, okay. If they put it on the one for no... <laughs> reason, they put them on all of them. <laughs> Look at the bottom. <laughs> Empathy. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh, I guess... I mean, it's true. We both felt bad for the guy. We were empathetic. We were then. We're not now. The they thought of it. I'm not now. I was empathetic beyond what they expected. Identifying body parts. I used to just identify body parts by poking them. <laughs> there's, there's a masturbation joke in there somewhere, but I'm a little too tired to, to really parse most, it out. Most people jump when, when that's done, but whatever. Oh, you're poking others. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying poking myself. I'm saying poking others. Listen, I started when I was identifying body parts. I started with myself, and then I moved on to others. Did they jump too? Or even worse, uh, even worse, did you jump during your own self-examination? Depends on where I touch. E. Okay. See, I'm I'm getting better at this masturbation joke. We're getting there. Hmm. I was gonna Whatever, ask. I was gonna ask the question if it's possible for somebody to tickle themselves. Um, I don't remember. I don't know either. 
I think the the apocryphal knowledge, the general knowledge is it's not. Um, but I bet if you presented that to a scientist with a, a significantly large grant, they could come. <laughs> Yeah, but we didn't enjoy those, and they weren't stories. One of them was a poem with That's, an... With, unma with unmatched illustration. With A, B, C, B rhyme scheme that also, really just spoke of two scenarios. Also, two that wasn't... scenarios. Also, that wasn't the part that I was laughing about. The part I was laughing about was giving a scientist a large grant to conduct that experiment. Like, who would even consent to that kind of thing? It's shocking what, um, if you give a grant, scientist a grant, they can come up with the study. See, um, I'm, I'm a weird person. I have no reactions, whether it's me or anybody else poking me. I'm just weird. So Even if you're surprised by the touch? Yeah. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Like, I'm very easily startled. And I also don't like people, like, touching my... Or uh, looking like they're going to touch my face. It just makes me nervous. Um, that and I'm not ticklish anyway, so... I am, but I can sort of, like, power through it. I can sort of turn off being ticklish. But it's obvious that I'm not enjoying it. Like, I do, in order to, like, sort of shut it down, I do have to spend... Like, I, like, clench my jaw. Yeah. And hyperventilate a little so it still affects me but i will not laugh i'll just sort of freeze up and look miserable uh it does not stop my girlfriend and i from having occasional tickle fights um well i mean that's I that's a that's a slightly different story i mean that's that's affection right there yeah it's it's social bonding or whatever yeah um doesn't mean i, I still don't like being tickled and honestly she's not that fond of it either so god knows why we do it uh, because you love each other and it's a special case. That's a great point. So, did they claim we learned anything else or was story time the last one? Uh, that appears to be it. My mouse is no longer doing anything, aside from so moving that book. Stop. So go to the middle. Um, okay, here's your, here's your, uh, credits. Novo Trade is the company. Oh, it's so short! I might have to get a screenshot. If you're really that interested. Um, I don't know. I bet I could find a lot of this information online. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, that was the, the Busy Town computer game, which is based on the beloved series of children's books and the uh, animation uh, that was on Nick Jr. for many years. This has been fun. Really, really, it really has. fun. I know there's a couple other DOS games that we had in common as youngsters. And, and some and those, non DOS games. And those those important DOS games are sitting in wait for the next time we have this uh, have this little powwow. Uh, we can try and make these episodes a little brisker. Uh, well, I mean we, we got to know each other better if we don't have this only be our second or third total conversation. Yeah, that's true. Um, this was about really further getting to know each other. But that Yeah, it was Perhaps less about detailing the uh, the game than it could have been. I'm not uh, I'm not complaining at all. That's true. Well, as we get less chatty, these will these will be a little bit more about uh, the game itself and less about our lives and how we grew up. That's true. All right. At so this point, help. at this point, I am going to stop the recording. And for those of you who stuck around for this whole thing or are watching it later. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying it. And I will see you sometime soon with another game. Good night, all.